There's been tons of announcements, and people continuously call us as MHAs to say, how do we go about accessing some of this? These announcements aren't about that. These are announcements are about, look at us, look what we've done. It seems to be more related to the political environment than it does to be focused on the people. And of course, there's a, there's a by-election likely coming, and there's talk that there will be a provincial election in the coming months. Uh, do you think this is about uh, promoting uh, the Liberal Party in the next election? Oh, absolutely. We've seen a significant number of announcements made by the uh, Liberal government, and we've seen a significant number of ads uh, made by the Liberal government. But when the Liberal government spends Liberal monies or their own fundraising money to produce their own ads, fair game. But when you use the public purse, when you use taxpayers' money to turn around and self-promote your government, then I have a real problem with that, and I believe the people in Newfoundland and Labrador do as well. Taxes on food, brings back malnutrition, brings in record-smashing food bank use. The best he can come up with is a bunch of scripted talking points from junior staffers in the PMO. That is outrageous. Canadians are going hungry as Christmas is just around the corner. And a common-sense Conservative bill to take the tax off farmers and food could have helped solve the problem. Why did he manipulate and intimidate senators to keep the tax on the food and make our people go hungry right before Christmas? We have an opposition leader who is so ideologically opposed to protecting the planet that he's willing to take Parliament hostage and stop Parliament from supporting workers, stop, stop Parliament from supporting families, and stop Parliament from supporting Ukraine as well. The leader of the opposition has threatened to ruin the holidays if his ideological demands are not met. Let us be clear, we will keep working for Canadians while the Conservative leader is only fueled by the sound of his own voice and has no real plan for this country. We will never back down from supporting Canadians. I know for a fact that farmers are asking that minister to axe the carbon tax. That PM promised that the Senate would be independent, but the actions this past week prove that that is a complete farce. We know he bullied his senators. The PM himself was on the phone over the weekend telling them they had to gut Bill C-234. The Prime Minister lied and his minions continue to lie about whoa, whoa. Don't worry about the uh, retirement as I get older, because the living cost is extremely high in Canada right now. I'm looking at the uh, um, exploring the opportunities to retire in other countries. You know, it's uh, preferably somewhere in Asia, or a lot of people I know also retired in uh, South America as well. I feel that uh, as soon as uh, it is no longer necessary for me to stay here, um, I'd uh, prefer to go maybe to Southeast Asia where I'm doing uh, uh, research for my uh, thesis in political science. Outward migration, or onward migration is what it's called, um, has been increasing slowly for decades but has really spiked in recent years, 2017, 18, 19. We see surges 30, 40 percent above the historical average. That was before the pandemic, that was before interest rate rises, so we can only speculate that what's happening now is even worse than that. Time, people not working, I think we're all really, really feeling the brunt of it. And families brace for that burden to grow in 2024. Tonight, a new report on food costs in this country and the expectation for some relief. Good evening as Canadians prepare for holiday get togethers. We're getting insight into what may be in store when it comes to the price of filling those plates. It comes as Ottawa continues to put pressure on grocers to lower prices. CTV Scott Lightfoot has tonight's top story. A trip to the grocery store in 2024 will likely still cost more as much as $700 for a family of four. We are actually looking at a market that is going to tighten up a little bit, probably midway through 2024, where we could actually see some categories becoming way more affordable for consumers. 
Meanwhile, troubles are mounting for Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, both at home and overseas. A new survey by the US-based consultancy firm Morning Consult reveals that Justin Trudeau's approval rate has fallen tremendously. As per the survey's global leader approval rating tracker, Canadian Prime Minister is listed with only 31% approval rate among the 10 world leaders included in the survey. On the other hand, speaking of disapprovals, the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, has the highest among the top 10 leaders on the list at 58%. Earlier, a poll that compares Trudeau to and Pierre Polivier, leader ahead of the of the Conservative Party of Canada also showed similar results. Pierre Polivier, leader of the Conservative Party of Canada, gained momentum with 40% of Canadians preferring him as the Prime Minister.